This is going to be a video for the sign of Aries. Aries, I'm just shuffling the cards. This is going to be a three card pull for you. So it's not going to be a long one, but I want to, uh, I want to see if I can read your energy right now after the North node changed into your sign last week. I think it was. Yeah. The collective North node went into your sign Aries. So I'm wondering how you've been feeling. Has there been any prominent, Ooh, <laughs> have you been feeling like this? Two of swords, this just flipped out as I was shuffling, so. Stuck in between two roads, maybe? Blindfolded, maybe you feel like you've been blindfolded. Um, any explosive events happen within the last week or so? Have you gotten some kind of epiphany or new insight, perspective on something? First card I want to draw for you is what could be a possible challenge for some of you out there, not all, but for some, what could be a possible challenge for the next 18 months? Since the North Node went into your sign. Five of Swords. Could be a challenge. Five of Swords is all about competition. I want to win. It is also the number five. Number five is about change. Could be also Uranus, like Uranian, like Uranus type of uh, change. It could be painful. It can be chaotic. It can be out of nowhere. It could be just literally ruthless type of um, struggle, right? Do anything at all costs just to win. That could be a challenge. And the North Node is also known as Rahu. Rahu is the dragon head, the one who consumes. So you amplify Mars energy because you rule the planet Mars, which is masculine, Aries god of war. Right here, when you put an extreme on it. That's what it would look like. That's a challenge. What could, um, what could come about? What is shadowing this? What is aiding this type of energy? Emotions. It could be a challenge that comes about because it could be fueled by suppressed emotions, anger, festering, brewing. Emotions that ne have not been dealt with, have been put aside, have been ignored, maybe. Look at this here. There's like a little, like on her chair, it looks like a child, like an inner child is being suppressed in some way. I'm just noticing that now because I've never actually like looked it up close. I'm just seeing it like that right now. It just, it's in this, yeah, it's like wanting to be freed, wanting to, you know, it's like, let me out, stop suppressing me, maybe festering the negative side the negative side of the queen of cups that would be the negative side right but that could be what fuels 
in what a challenge, challenging situation. So then, what is the advice here? The sun? The sun. Maybe the advice being the sun. Look into your inner light. This is the card of Leo, yes. But the pure aspects of the sign of Leo would be to be positive, try to look at the bright side of things. And not only that, but be consciously aware of how you might be reacting towards others. Work on your solar plexus. Release whatever tension has been festering in there and creating poison. That's what I'm getting. The Four of Wands. Pay attention to your home. And don't neglect your home. Don't neglect those in your life. Be sure to check on them. Be sure to also have fun, too. Open yourself up. Open up your your more sensitive side it might be difficult at times but open up your more sensitive side your sensitive nature i kind of want to keep pulling The tower. It's time to bring down old foundations that no longer served you. Shine a light on the emotions that you might have been festering, keeping repressed. Shine a light on your inner emotions that need to be acknowledged maybe right in a balanced way because your challenge is going to be this yeah let go of things of the past that might have hurt you you don't want this to repeat right so work hard on making amends with that Look where Leo is in your chart, um, the sign of Leo. It falls in different houses of our charts that could give a sign since this is the major arcana that fell out, which is a Leo card. Um, maybe you can get some further insight on that. So that might help you with the next within the next 18 months or so. And then um, obviously look to where Aries falls in your chart. If you're not in Aries rising... Um, then look to, you know, which house your sun sign Aries falls in. Or if your moon is in Aries, look at where your moon is placed. So, and then uh, also be aware of where Libra is placed as well, because that's where the south node is. And that's uh, directly opposite of you. So, anyways, I hope that you got some insight from this. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.